When you think of an orchestra, you think stringed instruments like the violin or cello. A one, two, three, four. But the ukulele? This is the Jerome Ukulele Orchestra, led by Tommy Anderson, known to most as Tommy Rocks. They're just the most amazing instrument you can play. And if you can play anything with strings, you can play an ukulele. And Tommy can play pretty much any stringed instrument. Hey babe, why don't we run away? When I first started, I was going in the army, self-taught on guitar. I was terrible and uh, didn't know it, but uh, so they made me the bass player. And I just want to pick up girls, right? So, uh, so I became the bass player and then the singer and then became the guitar player. Then I figured, well, I'd better teach myself piano. Um, and then I started picking up just about everything. So banjo, mandolin, dobro. Ukulele is probably the last instrument that I've picked up. I was in a, a Beatles band, and George Harrison is a big fan of the ukulele. So I figure, since I love George Harrison, I better learn how to play ukulele. Here comes the sun. Here comes the sun. Ukulele first struck a chord in North America. About the same time, copper was being struck in Jerome. It's been a long, cold, lonely the late 1800s, Portuguese people were coming over to Hawaii and they brought a five string instrument called a machete. And then it turned into a four string instrument, and pretty soon it took over the island of Hawaii. In the 1910s and 1920s, there was so much tourism going back and forth between Hawaii and America. It became the sweetheart of America. In the 1930s, the big Great Depression hit, so no one could afford to buy guitars, so everybody was playing ukuleles. Early 1960s, even the rockers, so Jimi Hendrix, Jimmy Page, Robert Plant, Eric Clapton, John Lennon, George Harrison, Paul McCartney, everybody was playing these things. Uh, and then the mid-1960s, here comes Tiny Tim, and just killed them for about 30 years. It's party time tonight. I had this idea that everybody from town, they gotta start hanging out with each other. And what's the best way to do that? Over some food and wine and playing ukulele. So I started uh, the Jerome Ukulele Orchestra. In the first night, within two hours, I had everybody playing music and doing songs. The place was totally packed to capacity and there was people waiting out on the sidewalks. Pretty soon we got noticed, America's Got Talent noticed this in the first year. Um, so I got uh, asked to bring everybody down, so I took 20 people down, we auditioned. We got through two levels of auditions. By the second year, I got noticed by Ukulele Magazine, so I made the cover story of Ukulele Magazine. And since then, I've uh, been written up, they've published me again. One of my songs called It's Party Time. It's party time tonight. So I'm kind of known as the ukulele guy in Arizona, and proud of it too, because you can see that uh, ukuleles have really taken over my life. Um, I've got a couple Martins up here. Um, this one is called Magic. He's also the largest ukulele dealer in Arizona. Here is the double neck ukulele. So on the first day, uh, within 15 minutes, uh, some people came in and they bought an ukulele. So I was like, woohoo! Second day, I was here open, sold another ukulele, and I was like, that's great. Third day, I didn't sell a ukulele, so I was like, oh. But the fourth day, I sold another ukulele, and it's like, hmm, maybe I got something here. And uh, since then, I've probably sold maybe 1,500 ukuleles. But you don't have to be a musician to appreciate Tommy Rock's eclectic store. Just a music fan. You'll find albums and turntables, rock and roll memorabilia, t-shirts, stickers, and of course, guitars and ukuleles. People see an ukulele and they think it's just this small little timid instrument. And there's really no limitations. 